Hey everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions with this week's Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. Did you know that in Remote Desktop Manager, you can actually open up the application with specific command line arguments? Let's check it out. So before we get started, you're going to want to know what these command line arguments are so you can pass them through. So in the description of this video, you're going to have a link to the KB article that has all of the command lines that you can pass through uh, to Remote Desktop Manager. So as you look at the arguments that you can pass, you can obviously do things like data source, database, session, uh, even repository, which it's not listed here, but a repository is your vault. So I have Remote Desktop Manager open here, and I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can do this, all right? The first easiest way that I think uh, to manipulate these is to actually find maybe the, let's say the session that you want to launch. Here's an example of a server that I want to launch every morning. Now, the way these work is it's going to use a bunch of IDs. Now, where do you get these IDs from? So for example, if I want to know what data source I'm working in, I can click the three little buttons there in my data source, click on edit. And then on the bottom here, I can see this data source. If I actually tap on it, it copies it for me. And then I can paste it into my argument that I'm trying to pass. Well, there's another way you can do it as well is by simply going to the session or the entry that you want. I'm going to click on properties. And now I'm going to go into entry information. And what's nice is everything's listed here. I've got my database ID, my data source ID, my entry ID for the session. And I even have a command line executable ready to go. So in fact, I'm going to copy this. All right, I'm going to close that. I'm going to close this and I'm just going to I'm going to paste it in. Now, before I hit enter, you're going to notice some of the parameters. So you got remote desktop manager with the executable. I've got the data source with the ID there. I've got the repository, which is the vault and then the session that I want to launch as soon as the application opens. Now, obviously, all this, if you'd prefer, can be copied into um, maybe a notepad or somewhere like that. And then you can edit this information as needed, or you can save certain data source IDs uh, and session IDs as you want. It's going to go ahead and run this right now. So Remote Desktop Manager is going to open up right now. There you go. Now Telemark DC1 is opening. And I'm logged in as my user because I have inherited credentials. Now I can manage my server uh, every morning. So is that easy? I can simply just use the information given to me by Remote Desktop Manager, create a simple little command line, and I can have an executable that just runs uh, the parameters that I want. So you can see that was very, very simple and easy. It's just finding those IDs is a little tricky once in a while, but once you find them and you know where they are, you can pass those arguments into Remote Desktop Manager and open up as you wish. I hope this tip was helpful for you. Make sure you like and subscribe to these tips to find out more. Until next time, this is Yen. Have a great week.